So you're thinking about moving to Sunnyvale. It's an outstanding city which has been named as one of the top places to live in America by Niche and other outlets. But why do residents and locals love it? Sunnyvale is a large city of a population of over 152,000 people. So we're going to divide this into three parts. This video will cover the southern parts of Sunnyvale, south of El Camino Real. Let's drive around so you can see what you can expect to be here. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, you want to know everything there is about living in the Bay Area and the surrounding areas like Sunnyvale, make sure to subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to learn about the current market here in the Bay Area. My name is Spencer Sue, and our team gets calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you, you and you looking to make their move. We absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make a move in a week or in a few months, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bay Area. Let's go check out the first property. So what is the history of Sunnyvale? The Spanish arrived in the 1770s and in the mid 1800s, Europeans arrived and established a wheat farm. In 1860s, railroad tracks were laying here and the 1870s fruit orchards replaced the wheat farms. Fast forward a century, semiconductors and the tech industry moved in and now today it is home to some of the largest global tech giants in the world. Companies including LinkedIn, Fortinet, Intuitive Surgical, Juniper Networks, Proofpoint, and expansion offices of companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet, and Apple. Now in the southern parts of Sunnyvale, you don't actually have nearly as much commercial. So most of those companies are, are actually in the central and northern parts of Sunnyvale. Now, the, the southern parts of Sunnyvale, why people like it a lot is because it has a lot of fantastic parks. You have Sarah Park, Ortega Park, Las Palmas Park, Mango Park, and many, many more. It is also known to have some of the best school districts in the entire Bay Area. You have schools like Nimitz Elementary, Fremont High School, Sunnyvale Middle School, Cherry Chase Elementary School, Stratford, which is a fantastic private school. What you also have is plenty of retail centers and plenty of great places to shop and eat. Some of my favorite restaurants here is Falafel Stop. You have Bowl of Pho. You have Mom's Biryani. These are all fantastic and delicious options. So we're gonna be at house number one. This is a four bed, three bath, 2,631 square foot and sold for $3.15 million. It was built in 1975 and this is a one story single family house. Here you can see it right behind me. And you can see all sorts of the different houses all around. Very similar, it could be a one story, it could be some that are two story. But the sizes of these typically are on the larger side relative to the entire city of Sunnyvale. Let's go take a look at some of the other homes that have sold recently. So we are at the second location. In Sunnyvale, in the southern parts of Sunnyvale, there are many other condos that are available. So this is an example of that. A unit similar to what we have behind me is a three bed, two bath, 1100 square feet, sold for $1.27 million not long ago. There are many around here. These are all built in the 1970s. So it gives you an idea of the different options. You have the single family ones, but you also have these condos that are available. So that does wrap up the southern parts of Sunnyvale for today. Again, if you're thinking about making a move, whether in a week or in a few months, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We're happy to help you make that smooth move to the Bay Area. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.